much. <sighs> can't do this today. I'm having difficulties. I'm having difficulties today. Why? I can't talk. Why? Every two seconds I'm like, blah, 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 blah. Why? I don't know. What should we do with you? Kill me. I hear myself talk. My, like, ear popped or something. <laughs> it's really annoying. At dwell, dwells. What is a dwell? An elf and a dwarf. <laughs> It's Jay, and today I am here with a review of two books, actually. The first is The Novice by Turan Mathieu, and then the second book in this trilogy is The Inquisition. This is actually part of a booktube tour hosted by Grace over at Loving Den Books, so I will leave her link down below for you guys to check that out. And we are given both books in exchange for our honest reviews. There's also going to be a giveaway for this book, which I will leave the links down below to. If you buy The Novice, you get five extra entries in the giveaway, and also a signed book plate. Which, you know, Turan is pretty cool, so I mean, I would like your signature in my book, so I would do it if I were you. I would do it. So I'm just going to give a little review of this one, and then a little review of this one. So both of these books are part of the Summoner Trilogy. And I absolutely loved both of them. First, I'll talk about The Novice. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. I thought it was so good. It follows an orphan named Fletcher who is working as a blacksmith apprentice in the small town of Pelt. Fletcher leaves town for a crime he didn't actually commit. He finds himself at Vokin's Academy, which is a school formed to teach the art of summoning demons in order to produce battle mages to fight the orc war. With his own demon Ignatius by his side, he sets off to prove himself to the king. I thought that the writing was very simple, but it worked well with the flow of the story. I thought it was very well done. I think Turan did an amazing job with his world building. It was so easy to picture the world, and the way that he described things made you feel like you were right beside Fletcher and Ignatius in Hominian. I absolutely loved every single character in this book. Even the bad guys, I loved to hate them. I can't say the twins' names, so I'm not even gonna try. But they were so evil, and I loved every second of it. I thought Fletcher was an awesome main character. He didn't take shit from anybody, no matter his upbringing, and I loved his witty comebacks and sharp tongue. He was so funny, and I loved Ignatius. He was my favorite. He's so cute. And I just want to hug him and love him, and he's just so adorable. He reminds me of Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. He's like a mini version of him, and it just makes me so happy because Toothless is so cute. I loved Othello and Sylvia. I thought they were great friends to Fletcher, and I loved the friendship dynamic that they created throughout the story. I felt like every character in the book was put there for a reason. It didn't feel like any of the characters were just thrown in there because Turan needed a character with that certain trope. It felt like everybody actually had a part in the story. Which is nice because sometimes I feel like authors just throw random characters in just because they can, and it drives me insane. I loved how there were multiple different species in the book, ranging from, like, humans, elves, dwarves orcs, demons. Since I haven't read a lot of fantasy books, this was a super cool concept to me. A lot of people compare this book to Lord of the Rings, but since I haven't read or seen any of these movies, it was an original story to me, so I found it very interesting. I will say that it kind of reminded me of Pokemon because of the demons. But I loved Pokemon, so I mean, I'm not complaining. And it's really cool. In the back of the book, it has like a demonology index kind of thing that tells you all about the different demons and their levels and things like that. So that was a cool concept. I really enjoyed that. really liked how it wasn't just a giant battle book. It had a lot of the history of the demons and the different species and how they had to struggle throughout time and it was just really interesting. I really liked how there were so many different kinds of demons and how their owners or like companions were able to control them through their mind and through mana, which I just thought was really interesting. I would highly recommend this book. 5 out of 5 stars. Seriously pick it up if you have the chance. I loved it so much. Also, can we just take in the cliffhanger? If I didn't have the Inquisition, I would have been so mad at this cliffhanger. Because, like, as soon as you read this book, you have to pick up the second book because it's like, what the heck? You can't end like that. I need to know what happens. So luckily, I had the second book. So if you're gonna pick up the first book, pick up the second book right away or you're gonna be real upset. You're gonna be real upset. So pick them both up at the same time, guys, and marathon them. Marathon them like there's no tomorrow. The second book in the Summoner Trilogy is The Inquisition. It came out May 10th. If you guys want to check it out, 
I would highly recommend it. I also gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. It takes place one year after the first book. When the time of his trial finally arrives, Fletcher knows that he is probably not going to come out as the winner and he accepts this fate until an opportunity arises. Fletcher is sent into the orc jungle along with Othello and Silva and a new graduated battle mage named Cress and they are sent to destroy a couple thousand goblin eggs. Their mission is to stop the orc wars and show everybody in Hominian that dwarves, elves, and humans can work together once again. But when it becomes clear that there is a traitor in their midst, Fletcher must keep an eye out in order to make sure that their mission is complete. I loved this book even more than The Novice. I thought this one was so much better. It was completely different from the first book, which was refreshing because sometimes the second book in a series is just kind of like the same thing over again. But this one was so much better. I loved every single character yet again. I thought that the new characters brought so much fun and spunk to the story. Cress was hilarious. I thought she was so funny. And I loved how she didn't take shit from anybody either, just like Fletcher. I definitely did not expect who the traitor was. I thought it was somebody completely different, so that was super cool because usually I can call books, but I did not call that whatsoever. I'm not gonna say who it is because spoilers, and we don't like spoilers here on this channel. But it was definitely a surprise to who it was. Fletcher and Ignatius's relationship was still my favorite part of the book, same as the first book. I think they are so much fun to read about. They're so playful and full of just life and it just makes me so happy and I can't wait till the third book so I can get more of them because they are absolutely adorable. I loved how we got to ha get more of Fletcher's backstory in this book and I like how we were actually able to see who he is and how he became who he was. I thought that the character development in this book was so well done for each and every character. I think that Turan did an excellent job in his world building yet again and his description of the land was perfect yet again. It felt like I was right along with them on their mission and it was so exciting and fast paced and I just could not get enough of the book. I read it in one sitting because it was so good. Again, Turan's writing was simple but it flowed so nicely and it made it so easy and quick to read. I loved the multitude of demons that he included. He added more, which was super exciting because I love the demons. They're like my favorite part of the whole book. Also, can we just take in the cliffhanger for this book? I thought the novice cliffhanger was bad. No, 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 no. The cliffhanger for this one, my heart, I can't. I'm dying for the third book. As I said before, I gave both of these books a 5 out of 5 stars. I liked The Inquisition a lot more than I liked The Novice, but it was still a very, very good book. But this one was more action-packed, and this was more like the background of the story. So if you like action, pick them up. And if you like demons, pick them up. And if you like cool stories with demons and action, pick them up. They were so good. So yeah, highly, highly, highly recommend them. Definitely pick them up if you have the chance. Alright guys, so that was my review of The Novice and the Inquisition by Tran Matharu. If you have the chance, go down below, check out the giveaway for The Inquisition. I'll leave all the links down below. I'll leave the book tour links down below. Five out of five stars for both the books. Highly recommend them. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Step worse, worse. English.